Well, good afternoon. It's Mark Ruff here with another very short video on uh, the topic, do I sell now or do I wait? And what I've done is I've created uh, just a brief little subject here of if you're thinking about selling real estate at the end of uh, 2021, rolling into 2022, do I do it now or do I wait further into the future, way into 2022? Do I push it out another year or two? And it really depends on a variety of, of uh, factors and ideas. And what I've done is I've written down here 10 ideas to consider very briefly on uh, things you should, should consider when you're thinking about selling real estate. And there really is only one right answer. I'm recording this in mid-December 2021 from Los Angeles in my home office where I work. And uh, I'm hopeful this video is helpful. So let's dive right into some ideas to consider when you're thinking about selling real estate. There's really only 10 things to consider when you're thinking about selling real estate. Um, do I sell now or do I wait? And what I tell my clients is, well, I would, but it really depends on you. Um, what are your goals? What are your aspirations? What are your desires? Uh, do you have some compelling reason why you may want to make a move now or do you wait? And it really, really just comes down to you. Number two, it is absolutely a great time to sell because of all the equity that you've likely built up. I mean, I've been in real estate now for over 30 years, since 1988. And I've seen markets come and go. In fact, I wrote an article uh, on US real estate market cycles. And real estate market cycles tend to come in long-term cycles and short-term cycles. Longer-term cycles tend to last about 66 years or so. Shorter-term market cycles last, as my students know, from peak to peak around 18.3 years. And it really depends on what your goals are, but it is an incredibly great time to sell. Interest rates are low, prices are amazing. There's a lot of competition for a limited inventory. So you've likely built up a lot of equity. So that's a great, great thing to consider when you're thinking about selling. Number three, when you're thinking about selling uh, now versus at some point in the future, you really have to ask yourself the question, what's going to happen next year? And the answer to that question is nobody really knows. We can guess and the media can report on things, but you know, the media often is wrong. So it really just depends on what your goals and what your aspirations are. We just don't know what's going to happen next year, which makes it a really great time to sell. Now there's more certainty now than a year from now. Okay. The fourth point is if you're buying again right away, Selling now could lock in dirt cheap interest rates if you intend to finance your next purchase. Interest rates are still are still very, very low. Um, they've gone up over the last several months. Uh, and as we're starting to feel inflationary pressures moving into next year, it's a guesstimate that interest rates will likely go up sometime next year. So if you're thinking about buying again right away and you're going to finance your next purchase, selling now could lock in a really low interest rate. Okay. So that's something to consider. The fifth point is you have to ask yourself, what are you really waiting for? You know, if, if there's, if there's a compelling reason to sell, it's a great time to sell. Uh, it can turn you into an all cash buyer, which we'll get to here in a second. But if you're waiting for some momentous event to, to happen, what is it that you're waiting for? You know, you have to ask yourself that question. Number six, um, buyers are absolutely desperate for good property and often will likely waive contingencies, including deferred maintenance. So when I represent a seller client, uh, we're, we're often forced, not forced, but we're faced with the blessing and the quality problem of actually having to consider multiple offers uh, from buyers. And a lot of these offers that we're seeing uh, buyers to be competitive um, I, are either offering all cash, they're waiving contingencies, they are uh, shortening up closing times with generous rent back periods with, with uh, sometimes even waiving rent. So buyers are really desperate for good property. So if you have a decent property in a decent location, selling now could be to your advantage. Okay, so, be, so you don't have to do a lot of fix up or uh, having to deal with the physical con uh, condition issues. Okay, so that's just something to consider. Point number seven, selling now could turn you into an all cash buyer on your next purchase. So I've heard legions of stories of buyers getting either outbid uh, on price or outbid on 
um, terms from other all cash buyers. So selling now, if you intend to buy again, could turn you into an all cash buyer on your next purchase, meaning that you will be in the most competitive position on your next purchase. All right. So that is something to consider if you're going to buy again uh, instead of rent. The eighth point is you get me as your as your agent for your next purchase. I can coordinate both closings so that you will not be homeless. You'll, you'll only have to move once. Not a lot of agents know how to coordinate those types of delicate issues on uh, multiple closings. All right, so that's just something to consider. The ninth point is is that you buy to a rise. All right, so um, there's a saying on Wall Street that you buy into a rise in the market. Um, so if you buy into a rise, you'll be able to capture that momentum moving forward when you buy your next purchase. Okay, you sell into a decline and you buy into a rise. Okay, and the last and final point is, what are your plans? I mean, the ultimate answer to the question is, do I sell now or do I wait for some point in the future? It really comes down to you and what are your specific plans. Nobody else matters in this equation but you. The only person who matters is you. And the right answer to the question is, is uh, uh, of the question, do I sell now or do I wait? The right answer is it depends. It depends on you and your goals. Once again, my name is Mark Ruff. I have uh, been in real estate since 1988 in a variety of capacities. I'm based in Los Angeles. If there's anything I can do to help you, all of my information is on this slide. Uh, give me a call, text me, or send me an email. I'm happy to help. I'm hopeful that this information is helpful to you.